In under three minutes, I'm gonna show you how I detailed the interior of this vehicle for a customer and some of the products and tools that I used. I'll be linking the products down below in the description and stay until the end to see a three minute video of the exterior wash on this as well. I'll start by giving the floor mats a good pressure wash before cleaning them. As you can see, it'll get a fair amount of dirt off right away. Next, I'll go ahead and apply P&S Hotshot Degreaser. Followed by scrubbing with a brush, drill brushes also work great for this if you have one. After I blast these off, we will go and move to the inside. Starting with a vacuum to get as much dirt and crumbs as possible. I also use this step to remove any physical garbage from the car that's fallen underneath the seats or sitting in cup holders. Typically I'll spray on an upholstery cleaner like PNS Carpet Bomber before doing the vacuum. It'll help pick up more dirt and prevent it from jumping around as much. The next step will be the steaming. Every vehicle is different, and since we're not doing a shampoo or extraction, this is a great alternative, and I'll explain how versatile it is. It's great for sanitizing, but also cleaning dirt and grime. A good steam and vacuum will make most carpets and seats look new again without introducing as much moisture as an extractor and can still remove stains. Also use this on any vinyl, door panels, cup holders, whatever might need to be sanitized. Just follow by wiping it down with a good cleaner like PNS Express Interior Cleaner as well. And a quick rundown on how I tackle these panels. Once they are cleaned, I will take a dry brush and get it between the cracks and crevices to remove dust and dirt. Compressed air also works great. And then I'll put a small amount of dressing on another brush and again, brush these crevices that a microfiber just won't hit. I use Poor Boy's World Natural Look Dressing as not a fan of that wet, greasy look a lot of dressings have. After the brush, I'll go ahead and spray some on the microfiber and just start working it into the panel evenly. Once that is done, we'll go ahead in a moment here. And as you can see, we'll use a secondary dry rag just to remove any excess and leave a nice clean finish. Now for the final steps, we're gonna do one last vacuum to pick up all the remaining dirt and whatever we blasted from between the seats and the panels. For the windows, we'll go ahead with one rag uh, with the window cleaner and then follow it up with a dry secondary rag to avoid the streaks. Let's do a final walk around, subscribe for daily detailing content, and comment below if you have questions or want to see some more specific detailing content.